All right, this quick video will show you how to insert an image into a Blackboard discussion forum. Uh, there are a couple of assignments where you will need to do this. This term, um, for example, the avatar assignment, which is one of our early assignments. Um, wherever you want the image to appear within your post, that's where you want to place your cursor before you click on the image. So um, perhaps I'll add some text. Meet my fantastic avatar. Now, whatever image I choose will go next to this or below it. Now, to insert the image, you want to come to the little icon that shows um, a picture, and you should get the pop-up information that this is the Insert Edit Image button. Click on that. And then you will need to browse my computer for an image. And here I've got two formats, and this is actually quite important for you to <laughs> succeed at adding an image. Blackboard does not like .png files. If you try to upload a .png file, it will probably not appear. You'll probably get an error message um, or an error image. What it does like is .jpg files. So what I did was I took my original image, which was a .png. I ran it through Photoshop, which is free to all Clemson students, and I converted it to a JPG image, um, even though they look the same. Um, but that's just Blackboard will prefer the .jpg file format. So you go ahead and click Open. And then it's really important to include an image description um, so that anyone using a screen reader will be able, the computer will be able to tell them what the image is. So this will be, I'm going to call it Aldwell Hazel Avatar. And I'm going to copy that description right down into the title as well. Once you've done that, click Insert and then be patient. Uh, mine went immediately, but sometimes it takes a little while for the image to process and become a part of Blackboard. Um, <laughs> my Pomodoro timer is telling me to get back to work. Um, but anyway, so you can see here that now this image is right in the middle of my um, post here. If I want to move it, I can create some spaces and, and move it around. I can type after it as well. And it will be the same font as above. So um, this is one way to embed images within your discussion forum posts. Uh, so I hope that this brief tutorial has been useful. And please do check out CCIT um, for any help downloading or accessing or using Photoshop. Um, and that link to CCIT is available on our syllabus. All right. Thanks for listening.